Alright guys, the Elf, ElfNet Gaming, and what you're looking at here is a, an emergency replacement repeater. Um, we've had kind of a little problem at one of the towers, <coughs> and um, got a lightning hit, took out one of my repeaters down there. Well, the only one I got down there for the south side of town. There's about eight customers on that, and... They're working now, but the radio that is on down there isn't legal to be on for commercial. It's a wideband radio. It's old General Electric Master 2 with the cards, the, the uh, tone cards in it. But I had no other choice but to turn that on for a couple of days until I got something a little more legit down there. Um, so... I'll go over what I got here. I start at the top and work our way down. On the top, we have our Motorola SM50. Now, this is a wideband radio here, but this is being used as a receiving radio, not a transmitting radio. I've got in the uh, PL, uh, the monitor uh, plug right there. It is programmed on the same frequency for both channels in case it gets bumped and then I've got the bracket right there for it and it is bolted to the bracket for this Motorola PM400 the PM400 is a transmitting radio it'll have the option for a microphone for testing open though I may put one of these down here just to keep that hole plugged up and I might put one in this too just to keep it you know from things getting in it but it's bolted to the bracket these are basically bolted together so that I could pick both of these up um, like so this transmitting radio I have set to narrow band a 12.5 kilohertz bandwidth on the, the repeater transmitting frequency um, it's only got the one channel programmed in it, it says TX radio <laughs> for that and I also have this radio kicked back from its normal 25 watts to about, I think it was 9.25 watts. And the reason for that is that I've got a 100 watt PA finals down there that take 10 watts, up to 10 watts to drive. I didn't want to run whole 10 watts through, but I wanted it to have a little more kick than normally I would set these things at seven and a half watts or something <coughs> oh excuse me alright well, so that's the radios down at the bottom is a Zetron ZR310 community repeater panel this is programmable with the uh, Motorola GM300 CPS or RSS DOS um, the biggest problem I had with this, and I went on radio reference with this, and people had helped me with it. I forgot the guy's name, but thank you for your help. It, I was able to work out what was going on, but the problem I was having was I was getting... See, these radios are programmed to the receive in, repeater input of 457.125 and then the transmitter output of 452 125 they're carrier squelch there's no PL or DPL program in these radios because it's handled by this panel here the problem I was having was this thing was getting this everything from the receive down here and it was decoding and transmitting properly but it wasn't and the PL was wasn't getting into out of this radio. In other words, this radio was not uh, passing the PL or DPL with the carrier, and it was passing audio, but it was passing carrier squelch. And what a guy told me is, you're on pin two for my guy. I said, uh huh, this is the cable I have. I went off of what what I knew with these <clears throat> he said you gotta get on pin 5 and 
you know, program the radio for mic and flat audio, not just mic audio. So I got in and did the radio. I'll change that. Uh, moved the pin to pin 5, and sure enough, it now works. It passes the PL tone. Um, and I'll demonstrate that for you here. I've got uh, this radio, and I've got this little diamond antenna because when I key this up with its normal, <coughs> this antenna, <coughs> I'm going to end up keying up the big tower down the road. So I don't want to do this without an antenna on it. So I'm put this little short little ham radio into on it just for this stuff um, and head start is one of the customers on here so so you'll be able to see it and I key this radio up see it's it's decoding and So it's passing the tone. It's passing a PL. This thing is set to pass PL on its encode. Um, the Master 2, if anybody knows anything about those, don't pass PL on the carrier. They only pass the PL while there's audio. It doesn't, it doesn't hold the PL tone during the repeater hang time. This one does. I got it set to do that. That way I know that it's working. I can hear it through this radio. Um, this one also <coughs> a benefit over the other one. Not only narrow band, passing PL, this thing is completely programmable. I can program it with this radio's keypad remotely or plug it in. But this also allows for the CW ID that the FCC likes you to have on the commercial repeaters now so it's it's quite an upgrade the the radio that was down there um, this is the repeater panel out of the radio that got damaged the radio that got damaged was a GR Motorola GR 1225 lightning got into it and just tore up the receiver and for, you know it, it there's no duplexer down there on this stuff there's two antennas you know an input and output well it got the receiving antenna and it tore the receiver up in that radio and it's not even worth repair I'm gonna you know go in and junk it because that's about all it's good for I could buy a, a new one or a new used one or something which the replacement radio um, isn't going to be a GR1225. It's going to be a newer analog digital type that's already got all of this, you know, these t programmable tone thing, you know, all that built in. It's rack mounted, and I can use the, the thing down there. Now, this radio is 10 watts. There is 100 watt finals down there. The finals were fine. They're not the ones that took the hit. The receiver did. So. And there's this uh, little gem here that I'm going to install. This is a a receiving receiver preamplifier for UHF. It's already been tuned. I put new power leads on it. I've got the in and out cables for it. Um, with this in connector, I'm going to put a um, for the this is going in from the input. This is coming from the antenna. I'm going to put a bullet in here and hook the receive antenna and then it's going to go out this black line here and into the SM50. That'll increase the sensitivity on this radio. So we'll get a little further and we'll turn this, I'll try to turn this stuff around here and you can see how I got it these power leads this and this this is the bench power supply you know hooking into that so down there it's already got a power supply and I've got some more of these cables I'm gonna put in a bus bar and you know some stuff for that but um, I had to build these cables and you see I had to 
they've been spliced because I was fighting with this cable with the PL code and free you know that and then I got finally got some help with it got it working but this is the transmitting side here going in here's the receiving line going to here so that's the back there's no antenna on the receive on the receiver it doesn't need it for sitting here and I just have it sitting here kind of doing this little burn-in thing just to see if anything fails or goes bad of course you know I don't know until we get it down there there's the watt meter that's hooked up to it it's set on the I'll put it on the 15 watt scale which is this these numbers 15 10 5 And you'll see it's it's right at 10 watts actually and I really think my meter is a little bit off by about a watt or so but it's it's right at 10 watts so it's right on the money the actual reading I I set in the code in the software was 9 watts I don't know why it's reading 10 but I might go back in and write it down some more I don't want to run 10 full watts into that PA because that's just not good. I don't ever do that. <clears throat> so yeah, this is a replacement. This temporary fix until I get the proper equipment, you know, the you know the actual rack mounted radio down, you know, ordered up and put in and back on the air but this this here will allow me to take the wideband radio off the air which again that radio that master 2 is only an emergency backup radio it is not a continuous use long-term radio it was only turned on to keep the customers on the air I am well aware of narrow banding I know all of that I had no choice. These people need their radios. You know, we got a the part of the school board. They need their radios to be able to communicate. So, but this is going to be put in down there for now, and we'll get a something better and at a later date. <clears throat> and then button it all up and call it a day. So, uh, the guy that helped me with the with this thanks I, I appreciate the help I do I would have never figured that out is racking my brain for like a day and a half but yeah this is the uh, just another little repeater a community repeater that I'm gonna put in at the site and yeah so anyway I'm gonna stop the video here there's not much else about this radio um, it's a preamp other than what you see and what I've explained this video is going on about 14 minutes so I'm gonna let you guys to your let you guys all loose and go do whatever it is that you do I'm Elf Elf Net Gaming. Be sure to like and subscribe. It, it doesn't hurt anything. It's free. It's not like I'm e-begging for money like some other YouTubers do. Um, you know, that's if you're interested in, you know, radios or Gary's Mod or trains or any of that. All that's here. I do videos on all of that. Um someday in the future I'm gonna do some videos on the MTS flash port radio here this one here is a salvage radio I knobs are gone this is this hasn't been rebanded yet so I can do whatever I want to do with it I guess but in the same of these M2000s here you know the Jedi series radios and you know 
mainly this one I might go into you know here on this computer show you the programming you know how to get how the trunking systems and talk groups are on this thing I, I don't know yet well, we'll see if it's something that would interest anyone let me know in the comments some just going through some software you know programming fields and things <clears throat> But anyway, I'm going to go, it's now 15 minutes into this, and I've rambled long enough on it. So, like, subscribe, leave a comment, be nice, um, and all that stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video.